And hello there. This is Isix with another uh, episode of uh, Minecraft on the Banana Viking server. And I got some bad omens. Mm. Bad omens, the third episode. That was a pretty good episode. Anyway, I'm on a little uh, bunker here. Mm. The llama dancing ground <laughs> nearby, because why not? Um, and I got ourselves a little friend over here. This little friend. It's named, uh, it's named Bob. He's a zombie. I am trapped in a minecart for now. He has a uh, one of my 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 tracks now in his hand. He's a jerk face like that. Uh, <laughs> and uh, the reason I got this guy here is because it is time to begin a most audacious project that's going to be even better than that one in its lame ugliness here. Yeah, I like got around to making three levels on. And uh, <laughs> uh, let's see, a project to. Create another infinite resource for us on the server. And the general idea is that it's going to be a device that generates pure iron and poppies. But mostly iron. I, you have to say it like that. Iron, if you're being excited like I am right now. And, <laughs> and I need this guy to help me with that. I also need some villagers, but they're in a portal right now. They're fine. Uh, we'll worry about them later. Um, especially after I get rid of this bad omen stuff. There's no, like, normal cows here. It's all just, like, mushrooms, mushrooms, things like that. Anywho, anywho, let's get started. So, the uh, design I'm going to be using uh, is going to be uh, similar in scope to one uh, that's a, uh, uh, I believe, a Doc M uh, showcase uh, in one of his videos uh, for this sort of thing. The Iron Farm video. And it is a device I'm going to put presently in this gap over the, the water here. I believe a little stairway for a very specific purpose so I can get Mr. Zombles up here. Oh, almost fell off. And... Uh, we're going to be putting it in the sky up here for a few purposes. Uh, one of them being that there is some plans for big construction in this general facilities. Yes. Now, I figured it would be a good start for all that here. Because uh, roughly a circle of sorts, maybe like 20, 30 blocks uh, across, is going to be at some point turned into a massive structure here. At least that's what I'm hoping to do. Uh, and uh, our little dealios here are going to be the starting point for it. Uh, we are pretty high up here, and that's fine. Uh, that is a-okay. Um, now we're going to go a little bit over. And we are going to go ahead and uh, set ourselves up the bomb. Now we're going to set ourselves up a little spot here. Uh, and this will be, at some point, a cauldron. But it's not a cauldron yet. Uh, but uh, we are going to want a platform right around here. That is a five by five. Like so. And that we are going to get... I probably should grab some ladders. Uh, uh, actually, probably better to have more stairways and things like that for the moment. Uh-huh. Uh, we're not going to the final stage until real late in the process that will actually activate. And um, and so we're going to start with this, this dealie up here. Uh, we are also going to clear out this one. This one. And we'll uh, get our zombie friend up here when it's dark once more. Probably should get some uh, proper activator rails in order to get him up here proper. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> uh, I got I already made a few, but I shall probably need a few more. But I uh, forget exactly uh, what all I need as far as the power requirements here. Yeah, we're going to leave that as is for now. Go ahead and plop a redstone dealio in here. And yeah, I'll go a bit of a ways. And let's keep going until it gets dark again. Then we'll put in a new one. All right, so it actually goes pretty far. That's good. A lot of activation. You don't need a redstone signal constantly all the way up. Good. Now I need to make more rails. 
It's gold and redstone. Don't got a gold farm yet. Uh, that is maybe something to think about. Uh, lots of pig men falling from infinite portals uh, to their infinite doom. Hello, gold. You are going to derail me. I mean, uh, what? Hmm. But, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that was a little inappropriate. Apologies here. Uh, my brain's been in a weird place. Um, I've been writing, you see. That happens sometimes. As I, I start saying nonsense. Oh, that's a little, maybe too many rails there. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of some of that. And uh, we'll put these with those. There we go. It is getting dark, so we want to hurry on this little project. Otherwise, we're going to have to wait a whole other extra day. Yes, yes, yes. We are also going to want to grab a few, like uh, at least the, uh, the cauldron out of that uh, dealio there, so we can actually have it when we're going to need it. Uh -huh. Blue. Uh, there we go. We don't need a bow right now. We're not fighting more pillagers. That'd be silly to be doing right now. Mm, yes, it'd be confusing too, since they don't spawn over here generally. Occasionally they follow us over, but uh, it's all just them being annoying, really. All right, so that is you. Oh yeah, you can't uh, need a, a normal rail here. Forgot these things don't turn like that. Do everything turn turn. Hmm. So the reason I gave Bob a name, um, other than uh, helps him self actualize, uh, is because Bob. It was, among other things, the sort of guy that might accidentally despawn. I don't want to have that happen. So, by giving him a name, he doesn't despawn. Voila. Uh, at least not easily. He could still be murdered still, and he could burn in sunlight, so that's why I've kept him uh, a roof over his head. Alright, uh, let's just go ahead and do it like that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pull this out, put our cauldron down. Uh, I don't need the uh, the underbit there, but we'll leave it for the time being because we'll be uh, making some use of that. Uh -huh. And because we're in a um, uh, mushroom biome here, we don't have to worry about uh, mob spawning and causing us mischief. All right. And we are going to want... Um, well, we're going to eventually have a stone slab up up top. All right. Go ahead and put that there. Like so. And we're going to need one more redstone block, it looks like. Oh, hello. Just to make sure we get all the way up. Good, good, good. So that should be able to bring us right into where we need to be. Hooray! And because he has a roof over his head over there, we should be in a good position to have him not burn to death, which is just such a delight. All right, uh, all right, Bob. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a little push here. Um, hope you're okay with that. Uh, fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Screw you too, buddy. <laughs> all right, uh. Make sure there we go. Do you have an actual rail underneath you? All right, give him a push. Wee! <laughs> right now, the hard part is to get rid of the minecart with him uh, without killing him in the process, which might be a little bit of an ordeal. I'm running out of beef. I hear it's what's for dinner. You are. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> oh, man. Right, there's the minecart. I'm going to have to go get a new uh, tag. Or I could just keep working on it for now. <laughs> oh, man. Bob, you weren't supposed to do that. <laughs> I should have done a couple other things, maybe to uh, help sort him out. Probably uh, block him in, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. I'll I'll figure that out. 
There'll be a bob too, don't worry. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Cool, huh? No, uh, we're going to actually have a, an extra layer down here. To do, or we're going to be building a few specific things. So one, two, three, four. In fact, we need this to be right here, I think. I think this is where it should, where it should be going. And like so. And like so. One there. And that will be an important start here. As you, if you, as you, as you saw in the, uh, the, the uh, chest over there. Whee! I love the Elytra. It's so bad. <laughs> uh, the... Uh, there is some some white wool here, so let's make use of that here. Um, yeah, there we go. Cause we want you, we want you so bad. No, I need uh, some wood first. You, I want you so bad. Oh, I'm driving me mad, etc. Anyway. <laughs> So I got a pile of beds here. Now, what's the beds doing? What is any of this doing? All right. So the the general thing that I'm attempting here uh, is to get it so that there are some villagers up here, and that they feel threatened. They feel that they are in their lives are in danger constantly, forever, and so they spawn iron golems. And I do that by getting a zombie put in the middle of this thing here. Let's go ahead and fill this gap here, just in case. Uh, that's not where I want that. There we go. Uh-huh. Um, why are you not letting me put things down? Okay. There we go. I have to put it that place. All right. So we got that going there. Um, I'm also going to need some carpet, which I don't got right now. Hmm. Um... Because we don't want iron golems spawning in a weird position. I do need to kind of keep my eye on my time here. All right, so we're about 12 minutes in or something. Hmm. And the... So the general... So, so we, the, the, uh, the villagers will feel like they're threatened. And they'll basically be in a state of constant panic forever. That's great. Uh... And so they'll uh, generate these iron golems, and then we'll have a thing, a mechanism uh, of sorts, water, uh, that will push them off the edge and to their deaths. Is it uh, that? Yes, good, good, good. So that will at least let us set up the one side here, which I think requires three. Actually, might be more. Also, I want some glowstone, because glowstone's cool. It'll uh, keep the villagers awake. Screaming. I mean, uh, what? <laughs> I mean, I saw some glowstone there. I didn't want to necessarily use it all, though. Hmm. Don't got any more stashes. I need to uh, work on collecting some glowstone, apparently. Hey, I can make some recipes. Gold. Good for me. Whee! Don't mind me just taking lots of damage. It's fine. <laughs> oh, man. Still Bad Omens 3. So, the one of the tricks that was sort of noticed, let's go ahead and grab some of the uh, misc things we'll need here, uh, is that, I'm just going to want some water at this stage, uh, the rest of stuff, not yet. Um, one, of the, one of the things I sort of noticed was that uh, this sort of mechanic, uh, and you can, because of how villagers sort of operate these days, you kind of need to have them be semi-coherent as far as their wants and fears and desires and things like that so we're gonna so we need to have at least a minimum set up as far as beds and things like that but we also need to like make sure that they uh have their uh their employment blocks um i don't want to be set up here that'd be weird Doo -doo -doo. no i don't want that either there we go Ah, my bed is broken. <laughs> oh no, my bed is broken. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and plop that there, put that there, put that there, and barrels, because these are work blocks. So they work for the the blocks that are the the, the villagers here. 
and uh, we're going to have a mechanism to get them into place later. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get something. Yep. Elytra also does some weird stuff, man. <laughs> uh, go ahead and get that there. Uh, at least for now. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, anything else we need right now, right now? Uh, I need to put a slab on top of that. There we go. Uh, and the carpets will go particular places. And we need you to be slab. Return the slab, they said. It'd be fun, they said. Uh, so we got that. Let me go ahead and put one of those there as well. Uh, I need some water sources. So let's go ahead and set one of those up. Uh, yeah, here's a good enough spot for it. Hello, water, my old friend. Time to bathe with you again. It kind of works, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, and uh, bam, there we go. So we got some water in there. So the, the villagers will be uh, stuck in there and they'll be bobbing up and down. We get them uh, sort of inserted into the situation here. Let's go ahead and uh, put the guide rails on that because we'll just adjust the, uh, the railway to take them over here as opposed to uh, over yonders. And then we'll get them uh, sorted up like that. Um, so those blocks will be gone. This one will be having a bit of carpet on it. Yeah, and so the uh, villagers will get pushed into that spot. Go ahead and do that. And uh, once this, they are in here, uh, three of them, in fact, on this side, they'll be in a good position to see the zombie. The zombie, once he's stuck in the uh, uh, yield... Uh, now, Cauldron here will be able to see them. Villagers will freak out and go, oh my god, it's going to kill us, man. And then they'll be like, we're going to summon up a, an iron golem and it'll pop up up there. Why up there? Because why not? <laughs> All right, uh, let's go ahead and get that uh, started, uh, shall we? Ooh, probably should maybe try to uh, set up a different geometry here. But anyway, um, that was a terrible stairway. One that's a little going to be a little bit more useful because we're gonna have fence posts everywhere. All right, um, let's go ahead and change over. I'm gonna go do a couple uh, maintenance things here. I need more beef, for instance. I'll be right back. Well then, um, I appear to be having some connection issues. I was trying to get uh, some of that beef cooked up. And, well, then I got booted from the server. Hmm. I had some issues with this uh, uh, yesterday and earlier today, and uh, server uh, reboot uh, seemed to help a bit, but um, not sure what's going on here. Yeah, so I'm going to call, call this an episode short. <laughs> I'd like to thank you very much for joining me. This is explaining some uh, Minecraft band of Viking server. We'll get this uh, situation sorted out. Uh, that's why I didn't have this episode up on Wednesday. And hopefully there'll be another one on uh, Thursday, or on Friday. Um, but uh, all the same, if you're in the United States, happy Thanksgiving. And uh, I'll see you guys uh, around, all right? Toodles. Woohoo!